JP Styles 85 here, and I did promise I'll do an unboxing. I might just do a little bit, like a little bit, make a jump in the edits, because uh, I want to carefully open this up and uh, look after it for collecting purposes and keep for the future. So here it is, the Phantom Pain. We'll just have a look at the box. Sealed. Looks very cool. This is what we'll get in the box apparently. So I'm looking forward to see the uh, bionic arm. And uh, nothing on the side. Alright, so I'll see you at the next step of opening up the Phantom Pain Collector's Edition. Looks like a little magnet or something attached to it. It's quite heavy. So uh, here it is. And there is the bionic arm in the wrapper. There's my hand. As a scale to how big it is. A little bit disappointed with the size of the toy. I thought it might have been a little bit bigger, to be honest. But other than that, it does look really good, though. A lot of detail, which you will not see on the camera. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. Looks good. I like it. It's got a fair bit of weight to it. And in the bottom, we got a steel case. Wow, that looks really cool. Snake! Snake! Wow, I love the detail. And remember, this is Hideo Kojima's last project for Konami. So I look forward to playing this game. And the other one, the box wants to close up automatically. Ah, open out, you bugger. You are making my life so much harder than what it should be. There it is. The game that a lot of people have been waiting for. Oh, this one's got a special sticker on the copy here, not to be sold separately. Looking pretty cool. And actually, what I didn't show on the inside of this steel case, it comes with the map. There's a map in there, which I don't want to fold out with one hand because I want to keep it mint condition. And also a disc. What is it? A Blu-ray disc. Spinning around carefully. Not quite sure what's on this disc. What does it say on here? Collector's disc. So that might be interesting to throw on. So, uh, yeah, so that's the unboxing of this pack. This pack costs 250 Australian dollars. So, yeah, normally the game... I think that this game retails for $110 on the PlayStation 4 and, I'd say, Xbox One. So, yeah, new release games are about the $90 to $100, so... Uh, that's about the standard prices in Australia. So, yeah, $250 pack. Nice quality box. The bionic arm, the game, the metal case, and uh, some magnetic thing. Is it worth the price? Probably not. It's probably a little expensive for just a toy. That's a little bit bigger than my hand. But other than that, I think the pack's really cool. But, uh, yeah... I don't feel like you're getting the best bargain out of this special edition, so... But anyway... Well, today I just picked myself up a PlayStation 4 video game console, and it's the Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Limited Edition. It's the 500 gigabytes, and it's the newer 1200 model series. And, um... I thought, yeah, I just want one for myself, actually. I thought they look really nice, and I'm getting one for me brother. So this is my second purchase. So it's kind of an expensive week for me, but I've had a long week at work, so I kind of justified the purchase. 
And just having a look at the side of the box. And I'll flip him over. Ugh. This retailed for $569 in Australia. And I ended up calling EB Games, and a lot of them sold out, but I called one in the next town, and they said they had one remaining, and it's about 50-minute drive. So I said, put one on hold for me. These were limited edition, and only one per customer, so I used my brother's EB Games card, so it didn't clash with the purchase under my real name or, or my real card. Anyway, here it is, PlayStation 4. And I will open this one and we'll have a look. Try not to ruin the cardboard. Because I want to keep the box in pristine condition. So basically it's a box within a box. Here we go. It's already popping out at us. Wow, and there's the controller. Geez, that looks really good. I don't think uh, the camera will do it any justice whatsoever, but that looks really good. The color is beautiful. It's supposedly like the gun metal that what Snake uses, so uh, looks really good. Looks good. Making sure everything is out. <clears throat> and here we are, we have a day one edition, Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain video game. Uh, it's got a big yellow sticker not to be sold separately. I will probably keep this one mint. I've already got a copy with my other pack. The grand finale of it all. So that will be the bottom. Here it is. Ah, it does have the gloss. <clears throat> That's like I thought it was. So I have to take extra care with this machine. Makes it hard to dust. But there it is. Wow. Looks very neat. Beautiful console. I'm a little bit sad that this is a matte because I wanted to get a console that, that you can actually dust and clean. So, uh, you know, without getting those fine scratches. Having a look at the back. The side looks really good. I'll have a close up of these mechanical buttons. Pretty cool. Have a look at the side. And that's it, voila. Looks very good. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now. Looks pretty awesome too. Very nice console.